What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, first is first guys, I know in the last episode I said that I was going to stick with Starmie, and you know, it was going to stay on my team and all that stuff. Yeah, that is not going to happen right here. I mean, I thought it through, I was looking at it, and it really messed up the dynamic of my team. I mean, I was... Like, in the last episode, I was really, really pissed off. I, 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 I couldn't fathom it. It was ridiculous on how many times I had to spend money on revives and antidotes. And it was like, man, maybe Starmie is not the right Pokemon for me. Maybe I should have stuck with Poliwhirl, Poliwag, you know, those Pokemon that really actually helped me. So that is exactly what I'm going to do right here. Uh, luckily for me, in the last episode, I didn't really, I didn't really save the game. I just soft resetted it, and then bam, we're back to before we caught uh, Star Me or Star You. And uh, since I've already posted the video here on YouTube of me going to Saffron City, going to Cycling Road, uh, there's no need for me to just like redo that stuff. So, um, you know, I got Psychic. I'm saving that because. Uh, I got two Pokemon in mind for this. Now, if you guys can't tell right here, Sir Razor is no longer on our team because I do have a Pokemon in mind for this. Now, I really want to make this team as diverse as possible, and there is a Pokemon here that can actually do that. And on top of that, I was looking at the uh, the Pokemon hand guide right here, and there's a maybe a move here and there that can actually help us with this specific Pokemon. So before we do anything, what's up? Here we are in Fuchsia City, and of course, this is home to the Fuchsia City Gym, and uh, they are literally Poison-type trainers, so it's going to be a surprise on who we're going to choose right here. So now, there are two houses right here. The first house, this is a very important one. If you go right here, this guy is actually the move deleter. This is the first time you're actually seeing it in Generation 3, and uh, if you have any Pokemon with HM moves, this is the man to go to, delete the moves, that kind of stuff. Now, if you go right here, you're gonna you're you're gonna be able to find Bill's uh, relatives, like his grandpa. Hmm, you met Bill. He's my grandson. He's oh uh, he's always liked collecting things, even as a child. That's good. And here we have Bill files his own Pokemon data on his PC. Did you did he show you? Yes, he did. And then uh, the lady right here is like the Safari Zone's warden is old, but he's still very much active. All his teeth are all his teeth are false, though. It is true. Very very true. So, that is that right there. Now, a few places of interest, one being the Warden's house. Uh, we already know that he has false teeth, so if you go ahead and talk to him, he's going to sound all ridiculous. He's like, hip hop hip hop hip hop hip hop hip hop And we're just going to agree with yes. He's basically asking you to go find his golden teeth because, you know, he has them missing. I, I guess it's a good idea to go find his golden teeth. Now, this is the place that we needed to go to, and I rushed way too quickly. Yes, you're gonna find a homeboy right here. I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear without, or bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Hell yes, I do, for specific Pokemon. Grand, I like your style. We, I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. And there you go, we got ourselves a good rod, the actual rod that we need to actually find the specific Pokemon that we want. And of course he's like, a crummy old rod can only catch you Magikarp, yes? But with a good rod, you can catch much better Pokemon. Well, much better Pokemon, but the super rod is where it's all at because you'll definitely find some rare Pokemon. Now like, I did use the speed button on the super rod quite a few times and I did, I did uh, encounter a few Gyaradoses. So that is some scary stuff right there. Now so, we're going to be doing this, and, uh, well, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to luck because my Pokemon are a little bit over-leveled right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to register the good rod right here, and uh, we're going to try and capture ourselves a newer Pokemon, well worth the wait and all that stuff. So it's not even a nibble. I'm going to do it again. I should call him Nibbler or something. Ah, here we go. He's on the hook. Please let it be the Pokemon. No! It's a Goldeen. It's a friggin' Goldeen. I don't want you, Goldeen. Leave me alone. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Of course, you're gonna find Goldeens and, uh, Poliwags right here. Alright, let's do this again. Come on. Don't be like that. Don't be a dick. 
Do it again. And... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So, that is going to be a little bit hard right now. So, let's see. Try it again. Come on. Don't be messed up. Yes! Here it is. Come on, please. Please let it be the Pokemon. God dang it! It's a freaking Magikarp. Oh, God. Draven's Rage is coming back. Draven's Rage is coming back, guys. Okay. Not even a nibble. Okay. I know... I know I know that uh, Poliwags are common right here. Come on. Come on, Poliwag. Wake the fuck up. And there you are. Come on. Please let it be Poliwag. Damn it! Okay, so we're going to have to go off screen because it's going to take a while. So I'll be right back with hopefully a Poliwag waiting for us. Alrighty guys, so here we have a Poliwag waiting for us right here, level 10. It's a very good level right now. And, uh, well, we're gonna see if we can try and capture this guy. Now, it's at level 10, so it probably shouldn't be that hard to actually try and capture it. So let's go ahead and just use Great Balls until, you know, it just succumbs to the Great Ball. So there it is, Great Ball, stay in there. Stay in the ball. Stay in the god dang ball. Yes! You see, that's how you capture a Poliwag. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's going to the data right here. Poliwag, the tadpole Pokemon. Its newly grown legs prevent it from work walking well. It appears to prefer swimming over walking. Hmm, that's good. And, uh, yes, I want to give it a nickname. I mean, everybody uses this. And I, I, I guess I should be using it too, since it's not going to evolve into a, uh, a poly toad. Yeah. Probably not gonna do. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I can't do that. Again, comment down below if you guys know how to trade Pokemon through that. So we're gonna name it the only name that is possible for this Pokemon, Poly Swag. Okay, so here we go, Poly Swag. There it is. Very fitting name. Hell yeah. And uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon, Poly Swag, level tw level 10. And as you can see, it's a modest nature, only a water type Pokemon right now. And it does have water absorb, which means that, you know, it changes water into HP. So if any kind of water type Pokemon were to attack it with water attacks, bam, absorption. And it looks like we got a very good water type Pokemon because its speed is, eh, it's quite there. Look at that. And of course, it has only two moves, Hypnosis and Bubble, so that's that that it, it's okay right there. I don't have to teach it Psychic, but you know, at least it has a Psychic type move that can actually help us in the long run. And I know that it's at level 10 right now, but we're here in Fuchsia City. There's something else that we can get that will actually help us uh, in our journey to get better and get our Pokemon a little bit stronger. So let's go right ahead to that place. As you probably already know, there is a tower right here, and if you go straight into it and talk to this gentleman, he'll be like, are you are you the kid who's working on a Pokedex? Professor Oak's aide came by here. So the man, the myth, the legend, Professor Oak's aides, not the HIV, the aides, he's here and he's like, hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex has completed uh, data on 50, po or 50 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak entrusted me with an experience share for you. So, Draven, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 50 kinds of Pokemon? And believe it or not, guys, yes I did. I mean, you guys have only been ke keeping up with the kind of stuff that I've been doing, you know, evolving and all that stuff. He's like, great, you've caught 51 kinds of Pokemon, congratulations, and here you go. The experience share. Very good move, or very good item right here. The experience share is an item that to be or to be held by a Pokemon. The Pokemon will receive a share of the experience points without having to battle. So, this is actually the item that we desperately need for well most of our Pokemon, but mostly for our good old buddy right here, our good old buddy Poliswag. So we're gonna give it to him or her, I should say, and uh, just. I let it sit by before it can actually battle at a proper level and uh, now if you go into the binoculars right here let's see what it says a shiny or a large shining bird is flying towards the sea and hello Articuno I will see you soon and then what do we have right here let's see and uh, it looks like a small island in the horizon yeah it's pretty good that's good alrighty so the next thing that we need to do 
especially here in the Safari or in, uh, in Fuchsia City is the Safari Zone. And that is exactly where we're going to locate our second Pokemon that we want to put on our team. I mean, yeah, I know Sir Razor has done this very, very well in the past, but it looked like to me that it was going to need, I was going to need a little bit of an oomph or a Pokemon that gave a little bit of oomph uh, going, in, going forward right here into this walkthrough. So now if you read this, Slowpoke, friendly and very slow moving. Hmm. Now remember, Slowpoke, you can only find it in Fire Red, or no way, I, yeah, I, mistaken, Leaf Green, Leaf Green. And Eric's like, where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here. Hmm, I wonder where she could be. Now, talk, read this, Chansey, catching one is all up to chance, that is so true. And then, uh, Voltorb, the very image of a Pokeball, it's all good, very, very good, okay. And then here we have Nessie. We haven't forgotten about you. Lapras, a.k.a. the King of the Seas. What if it was a female? Now, if you... Now, if you guys remember, if you actually chose... If you guys remember getting the fossil over at Mount Moon, the opposite fossil that you haven't choose will be featured right here in Fuchsia City. So, since we got the Helix fossil, the Dome fossil will be featured here, and as you can see, Kabuto, an extremely rare Pokemon that was re regenerated from fossil. That's good. And then here we have a Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan! A maternal Pokemon that raises its young in its pouch, uh, in the pouch of its belly. Hmm. Pretty good. Very good. So here we are, guys. The Safari Zone. We're going to be capturing another Pokemon. Now, one thing that you guys should know is that the Safari Zone will only give you 600 steps. And there are a lot of items over there. So, uh, you know, if you guys are wanting to get the items, the, the rare items that are in there, I would suggest saving up for two, maybe three visits because there there are quite a few items you won't be getting them all in 600 visits or 600 steps. Uh, first and foremost, we're gonna be getting three things: a our new Pokemon, b the HMO2 Surf, and c of course the Golden Teeth. So as you can see, this is the first area right here, and uh, you can actually fish for Pokemon right here. You can actually find. A Dratini and a Dragonair if you have the su uh, the Super Rod or the Good Rod right here. And obviously you guys already know, I'm not going to have a Dratini or a Dragonair on my team. Nor buy them, you know, because a lot of you guys questioned me back then, 10 years ago. Kind of hurt. Very hurtful words right there. And uh, would you look at that. The Pokemon we've been looking for. Execute. So yes, guys, the next Pokemon that I want to get for this team is Execute. So... Let's just throw a Safari Ball. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the god dang ball. There we go. There we go. Oh, you suck! Okay. It's just waiting. It's wishing. I'm not throwing a, a bait right there because it's going to be a little harder for me to actually get. There we go. Ah, damn you! Ah, oh, god. Well, the cat's out of the bag, guys. The next Pokemon I want to get is Execute. And why Execute? Well... It is very easy to catch her. Uh, not so rare right here. It's very common. On top of that, it is both a psychic and uh, grass type Pokemon. So, if you think about it, I already have a poison slash ground type Pokemon. Razor was a poison slash grass type Pokemon. It can only go for, uh, f as far as it can go. I mean, it, it did do, do as well against Misty. And as you can see, we found ourselves Sunny Day. Now, I did read on to Execute and on, uh, on what was it, Weeping Bell. They both have the same ability. Sunlight will actually make them a little bit faster. So, uh, you know, Sunny Day will actually be a good incorporation to their moveset right here. And, uh, well, we're just going to... Yep, there it is. Execute. Okay. Come on. Stay in the god dang ball. Stay in the... Oh, <laughs> you suck. Alrighty. It's you and me. I don't like you. You may not like me, but I'm going to throw this Pokeball at you. Stay in there. Damn it! Ah, uh, you suck. Okay. I'm going to throw another Pokeball. I'm going to try. Come on. Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay in the goddamn ball! Ah, damn it. Okay, so you fled. Traitor. Whatever. And like I said, guys, 600 steps, lots of items. You're probably going to have to take a few visits here and there. So here we found a max potion. And uh, remember, if you run, it's going to waste the steps just a little bit faster. And holy crap, here we have a Kangaskhan. 
I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it because I know I'm not gonna be able to capture it. But, you know, one can try, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god, I thought I had it! I thought I had it! Oh, that would have been awesome. I probably wouldn't have used it on my team, but that would have been awesome right there, guys. There's only been like a handful of times that I've actually caught a Kangaskhan, let alone Chansey, Scythers, or Pincers. Actually, Scythers or Pincers, I had to buy them. And, oh god, here we go, execute. Alright, you little bastard. You don't like me, and I like you. Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay in the ball! Damn it! Oh god, I hate you. Okay, so the adventure continues. We will get ourselves an execute. Okay. And, uh, well, look at that. Doe Duo. We, we, uh, well, of course, we never caught the Doe Duo. And, uh, we just need to move on right here. Let's see. Who's next? Here? There? No. Of course, we did capture a Doe Duo back in the, like, when we were coming in out of, uh, out of Starmie's little, uh, thing there, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. We have to capture it again. And here we have a Rhyhorn. Very easy Pokemon to capture. You know, it's not that hard. Here we go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the fucking ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. That's right. You stay in the ball. So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a Rhyhorn. Very easy Pokemon to capture. As you can see, the Spikes Pokemon. Its massive bones are 1,000 times harder than a human bones. Its tackle can knock a, a semi-trailer flying. Holy crud. And, uh, no, I'm not gonna nickname him anything. Uh, do I have any spots in my, my team? Okay, so I do have spots. I would just, I just have to go the right way about this, okay? So, moving on forward right here. Well, we'll find Execute somewhere. And, uh, well, we found, uh, Rhyhorn's neighbor. The other Rhyhorn, or his girlfriend. I don't even know, or... Uh, wait, 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 hold on. Let's see what kind of gender we have. Yes, his girlfriend. That would have been awkward right there. Okay, so let's see. There's an item right there. Oh, God. And uh, here we have a Nidoran, a Nidoran, a female. I, you know, off screen, I will be capturing some of these Pokemon. Some spares just because we still need to trade Pokemon. And as you can see, we found a TM-47 Steel Wing. Very good move if you're trying to defeat a rock type. And here we have a Protein. Okay, so we're making progress right here. Now, I'm probably going to have to run just a little. Please let that be a good Pokemon. Damn it, it's Paris. And I never caught one. Yeah, this is gonna have to like, this is gonna be off screen kind of crap. So let's move on right here. Let's move on, come on. Okay, so we're, we're getting close to the area that we need to be, which is right here. You go right here, guys, and you get yourself the gold teeth. That's one thing that we, uh, we can uh, take out of our list. And then here we have a TM32 double team, very good move, and uh, we go in here, and you talk to this individual right here, and he's going to be like, ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the, se the secret house. Although I made a campaign for a grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. And here we have the HM03, which is Surf. Did I say 02? It's 03, my bad guys. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across the, the water using it. And this HM is indisposable, so you can use it over and over again. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. That is good. That is great, guys. So, let's see. I know which Pokemon I want to use it on, but I kind of want to wait until I can use it because technically I can't because of a, uh, what was it, badge restriction. So let's go right ahead and see what we got. So this, who, okay, so Nido, or Nido King can use it. My, my deal is this, that I kinda wanna use it on Thrasher as cover when he faces uh, any kind of like ground type Pokemon. That way it leaves space for Poliswag, for Waterfall or anything, because I know for a fact Thrasher can't learn Waterfall right here. So we're gonna save that until later on right here. And then, uh, we'll figure it out afterwards. Pretty sure Poliswag can learn a, a new move here and there. Or if not, then you know what, I'll just teach it, uh, Surf. Just, uh, you know, just to get people off my back or something, I don't know. But right now, in the meantime, let's go ahead and try and capture this Execute. Come on, Execute! Come out and play, yay! Damn it, it's Rhyhorn! Never mind. 
let us move forward. Let us move forward right here. I know that I don't have enough steps, but I'm just gonna try. And uh, would you look at that? It's Chansey! It's motherfucking Chansey. Okay. Come on, Chansey. You know you wanna stay with us. Stay with us. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, no. And usually these rare Pokemon do not stay very long, so you're gonna have to be very, very lucky, guys. Super lucky. Okay, so. Again, I'm trying to find an execute, and uh, all we're finding is Nidoran females. It's all right by me. It really is. I'm just, uh, let's see. I got 113 steps, so it's really nothing. I may have to do this off screen. And, uh, well, Rhyhorn, I do not want to talk to you right now. Okay, let's go right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Right here. Come on. You know you're here somewhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it! Okay. Not the right Pokemon. You know, I really like the, the theme song to the uh, Safari Zone. I remember back as a kid, in both Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, and Leaf Green and, uh, and Fire Red, uh, I used to screw around with my brother a lot, because he was younger than me, or he is younger than me. But he loved watching Pokemon evolve, and I would always go into the Safari Zone just to screw around with him, and then, you know, uh, make sure that to, to not show him what was evolving, and then <laughs> afterwards I showed him that no, I'm in the Safari Zone. That's just me being a brother. I know it makes me a bad brother, but you know that's how brothers get along. So if my brother's listening to this, love ya. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, you know what? Let's screw around. Let's go right here the other room of the Safari Zone, and I'm probably not going to make it. I won't. Actually, I probably will, right here. So, look at that. We're on the other side of room one, and uh, I'm just going to leave it up to chance right now. And would you look at that, we found ourselves in Execute. Okay, let's throw that Safari Ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Goddamn you, Execute. Stay in there. Stay in there. Damn it. Ah! Okay. Eye of the mother loving tiger. Let's throw some bait. Let's throw some bait. There we go. That's good. It's eating. Okay, it's happy. Now let's throw that freaking ball. You're in my ball right now. Let's go. Stay, 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 stay. God dang it. Oh, God. Okay. Let's do it again. Come on. Come on. Stay. Stay in the ball. Damn it. Oh, God. Okay, so... I'm gonna do it again. Safari Ball, go! Come on! Stay in there! Stay in Oh! <laughs> you suck! Oh, Execute, you suck! And I only got 13 steps, so that's not going to make it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, never mind! We get another chance. Alright. Pokeball, go! Come on! Stay in the ball. Stay in the... Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, why? Crap, I got four steps. Ah, uh, you suck, Nidorino. You suck balls. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. This is the last step right here, and god dang it! <sighs> okay. Well, it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like we're done here. Yep, it's done. Okay, so we're gonna have to go off screen and try and find this god dang Pokemon. And, uh, yeah. You're gonna have to find this Pokemon afterwards. So, uh, stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back in just a little bit for, you know, our good old buddy Execute. Hopefully, we capture him. Alrighty, here we go. Round 15 Execute. Let's go with that Pokeball. All right, you better stay in that ball before I stab you in your freaking egg. God dang it! Okay. Okay, here we go. Another safari ball. Come on, stay in the god dang ball! God dang it! Why must you be so difficult, you asshole Pokemon? It's mocking me with its face. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna throw a bait. You better not run away like a little bitch. Okay, all righty, stay there. Okay. Come on. Do not mock me. God dang it! You know what? I'm gonna throw a rock. Fuck it. I'm just gonna throw a god dang rock. A rock. See if you get, if you stay. 
It's not gonna stay. He's just getting all angry and stuff. Yeah, that's right. You get angry. Here you go, you little bastard Pokemon. That's right. That's right. Stay in the freaking ball! Uh, Alright, here we go. Alright, we're gonna do this again. Safari Ball, go! Come on. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch! Yes! Eat it, Execute! Eat it! Okay, so there you go, guys. This is how you capture and execute. It was a long and arduous battle, but I got it. Yeah! Suck it, Execute. Suck it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, add this to our data. As you can see, Execute, the egg Pokemon. It is often mistaken for eggs. When disturbed, they quickly gather and attack in swarms. <sighs> God. That freaking egg. The face looks like Stewie. Stewie Griffin. I think I should just call it Stewie Griffin because just look at the face right there. It's just like it's mocking me. Fucking asshole Pokemon. Okay, so, uh, nickname. Yes, we're gonna give it a nickname. Well, let's see. I could, uh, I could do something. Let's see, execute mine. I don't even know. I don't even know what to nickname it. I, I think I should just nickname it like Stewie or something because that's what the middle face looks like, but then it evolves into something else and it's just like, yeah, it's whatever. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to leave it up to you. <laughs> All right, so let me let me go ahead and find a good nickname right here. A good, good nickname for Execute. Now, I could call it Shell Shock, but it's nah, you, we all know where that came from. So let's go right ahead and find something uh, better. Let's see. Nicknames. Nicknames for Execute. Execute Door. Okay. Let's see. My first Execute. Oh, wow. Okay. Coconuts, coconuts, coconitas. I don't even know. You know, it does have hair like Sideshow Bob or Brawly. Let's see. Loading nickname: Trunker, Pompeys, Tree Stooges, Tree Stooges, Tree Stooges, Tree Stooges. Wow, this is a bad nickname place. <laughs> okay, alrighty. Um. 62 nickname. I'm trying to name it, but it's a good name. Name it Steve Egghead. I don't know. Ah, uh, God. You know what? I really don't care. I uh, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, you guys will figure out what the nickname will be for Execute. Okay? See you guys. Mm -hmm.